Everyone has a favorite gym leader. Some of you like them a little too much, but anyway, you battle them and get badges, and eventually you go on to beat the Elite Four and become a champion. But what if you were the gym leader? Would you have an overpowered Dragonite like Lance? Or maybe a menacing Abomasnow like Candace? Well, Pokemon this gym of mine lets you live out that fantasy. I let the Wheel of Typings choose my type and fate decided that we would own a Psychic Gym. I know Psychic is spelled wrong, I was in a hurry and my brain is as smooth as this ball. Chat chose Solosis to be our starter and was named Sean after one of my viewers. Sean if you're seeing this say hi. Mayor Dalton introduces himself and explains how the old gym leader left the savior to rot. He takes us to our home and then hoverboards way in style. There's the TM Psychic in this box so I teach it to Sean and head out. I'm immediately confronted by this guy on a bike who claims this town is now called Garbage City. My destroyed self esteem has no problem with this. The biker gets in my face saying he hates silent protagonists and when we say nothing back, he challenges us to a battle. And here's where teaching Sean Psychic was a mistake. All right, Sean, let's show him what for. Psychic! Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> well, we're gonna need some new friends. How about this Shroomish? I know it's not Psychic type, but we aren't defending the gym yet, so this should be fine for now. Look at how tiny he is! With that out of the way, the mayor informs us that we can use two non-Psychic type Pokemon, but they must be able to learn Psychic. I really like this because it adds some variation and better type coverages. It's time to choose our gym trainers and leave it a chat to be incredibly thirsty. I see a lot of threes. Oh my god, you guys are so... You guys are so bonk, man. We should probably make our gym team now, so we catch a Swoobat and name it Dylan, and then a Muna and name it Tiana. We're now ready to defend our gym, and I'm gonna be honest, these trainers are awful, but I do like that sometimes they'll leave, and then you immediately have to verse them again. <laughs> it's just... He's safe stated. You're cheating, bro. <laughs> It's illegal to both duel and become governor, and it is also illegal to sleep inside a refrigerator. Duper gets added to the squad because eventually it'll evolve into- Oh my god, that Pokemon is blazed out of its mind. Also, yes, there are regionals in this game. After defending our gym, we head to sleep and are awakened by the mayor, praising our efforts as a gym leader, only to be quickly interrupted by Elizabeth, who challenges us to a battle to test us. Ma'am, your Pokemon are dog water. Get out of here. Oh look, another regional. Hello, I am Jacob. I was wondering if I could join your gym. I know it is a bit sudden, but I would like to sign up. I'm totally not joining because you're the only gym with a girl. Uh, did we help a brother out? Come on, man. I ain't, I ain't one to, you know what I mean? I ain't one to block. We go let him, you know, we let him in and then it's up to him. Jacob might be him. You never know. W wingman in the comments, please. Also, we caught a star you named Nicholas and an Iggly buff named Ryu. Oh, hey, chat. No, no, I wasn't looking at the gym guide. Oh, he's just a perv. Duper evolves, and we continue to add more psychics like this Mime Jr. named Unsure and Justin the Hatena. Holy fuck, Ryu. Move! You have been hurt by confusion every turn! <clears throat> anyway, we continue to defend our gym, and eventually the mayor meets up with us to express his amazement in our accomplishments so far. But just then, this goon shows up and demands we prove ourselves to him. To my surprise, he actually beat us. Clearly, we need a training arc, and conveniently, there's this Blissey trainer here who gives a bunch of XP and won't ever attack you. Eventually, Sean evolves into Duojin, and Ryu evolves into Jigglypuff. Oh, and here's another regional. I wish I could have seen what this evolves into. I bet it looks sick. Sorry I'm late. I was fighting for my life on the toilet. You ever... You ever so bad you need, you need two pieces of toilet paper at the same time? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh yeah, we're going to the Badlands. Trust me, you will escape from the city. Oh yes, this is such a banger. I, if, if that's ever, if anything that I've done is going to get copyrighted, it's that. On our way, we also evolved Sean as well as Justin for the last time. And I got kidnapped. And to make matters worse, they were really rude about it too. How's your day going? Horrible, I hope. <laughs> what an asshole. And of course, they won't let me out unless I beat them in a Pokemon battle, as is tradition in these Pokemon games. I make my escape and the mayor just happens to always be there after the fact. Something seems odd about him. And then this guy Edgar shows up. So Edgar is the leader of the Rough Riders, the group that just kidnapped me, but he claims they would never do anything like that. Okay, then who did it? Then he says he's gonna beat us and take over the city. Yeah, if you think so, bro. I think we need a vacation after all the shit I've been through. So we head to this beautiful sounding place called Breezy Town. I can't wait to chill on the beach. Breezy Town, where's the beach? Who's this guy surfing? You don't have to go that fast. Why am I in a bike in the Pokemart? 
what is happening in this town? I guess I just have a... Why can't I get to this Pokeball? Why would they do this? How do I get off bike? <laughs> I am bike man now. There's only one thing that can make this vacation better. So how about my favorite Pokemon as a regional? Yo, what's up, Solari? <gasps> I don't care. I don't care what typing this is. I'm catching it. Shinx is by far my favorite Pokemon. We also catch Mistrevious to add to the team, and our couple days of vacation are quickly over. I'm, I'm stuck. No, please. No. I haven't saved in so long. No, please. No, please. No, please. 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 I haven't saved since we started playing. That was two hours ago. Please. I didn't do anything. I just went home. Out of sadness and while trying to get back everything that I lost, I added Armando the Poplio, Frauk the Fennekin, and then funnily enough, Mommy the Regional Gallade and Daddy the Regional Gardevoir. Now I know what you're thinking, but Daddy's female and Mommy's male. Well, just like a certain protagonist I love, I believe in true gender equality. Defending our gym is going pretty well until Edgar calls us. He wants to end this feud we apparently have once and for all. And am I going to call for help? Hell no. However, the only reason I'm not calling for help is because I know some BS will happen if I do. We meet Edgar in his secret lair of nothingness. Like, dude, how are you the leader of this crew, but the best you have is a cave with nothing but ladders and rocks? Well, either way, his team is actually pretty tough. Sean hard carried, taking out his dope looking Agron, his Tyranitar, as well as his Garchomp and his Metagross. Justin then took out his Hydreigon, and Daddy finished it off by taking out his Salamence. Just like that, Edgar was defeated, and he promised he'd leave us alone from now on, so I think it's finally time we added some buildings to our town. Alright, bald man, you can finally go home and see your kids. You've been standing here for two weeks, but don't worry, I'm here to release you. Now, now, I know I'm biased, but oh my gosh, that is such a cool Pokemon. This Miss Magius turns into a regional, and I had no clue, but it looks so sick. STOP HEALING! Why do you have so many heals? This is like, this is, is this genuinely what the gym leaders feel when they're versing the, like, when we're the trainers? And we're just like, oh, you think you're gonna kill me? Psych, max revive, full potion, max revive, full potion, max revive, full potion. Is this what it feels like? This sucks! I hate this! It's time for you guys to meet my arch nemesis, the EV trainer. Honestly, this should have been the final boss of the game. Why does Double Edge do so much damage? For such little recoil. Okay, now it's Jolteon. Yeah, of course it- No, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Goodbye, Armando. Thunderbolt! That didn't do shit! Oh! <laughs> Okay. Oh no! no! Why? I want out. I want out. I don't want to be here. Let me out. If I get her for a third time, I'm ending stream. If I get her for a third time, I'm dead ass. I'm just ending stream. Oh my god, it's this guy. No. You guys don't know who this guy is yet. He has one Pokemon. And it's a level 99 Tyranitar. <laughs> What's happening? This is some bullshit, bro. I didn't even see this while playing, but he used a full restore at full health just to taunt me. This piece of shit. Are you serious? It's time for another training arc because I'm sick of getting bullied. This is bullshit. It's my arch nemesis. Guys, we can fucking do this. Hold on. I need better music. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. We're fucking jamming. What do I use? Flamethrower. Bet. That is not what I hit. Is that what I hit? That is not what I hit. Oh, my God. I'm throwing already. I'm throwing already. Flareon. That's why we saved Armando. Hydro Pump. Eat that shit. Let's go. Or we're getting new battle music for the next phase. Give me those toes! End it! We're running.
running out of PP. Okay, we gotta switch. Ow! Get shit on! Please don't come back. Please don't come back. Please, 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 please don't come back. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. We did end up having to get our ass beat by this guy a few more times. Before I realized that the newest version of the game is bugged to where you can't progress, I tried buying my reputation by gifting a total of about 50 hyper potions to the donation bank. What am I doing? Giving potions so I can rank up. <laughs> I want to rank up. So we can progress the story. Is that not how that works? In return, I got a new trainer. Do you really think I give a shit about a trainer? I want to play the game. Like, wait, what? You drop an update and you're like, yo, this update's about to be crazy. And then the forums are going crazy with we can't progress. We can't progress. We can't progress. And then they're just like, damn, that sucks. Anyway. Downloading an older version of the game fixed it, and off we go again. There's a commotion outside, and it seems Garrison, the League's champion, is outside of our gym wanting to battle us. He's some kind of showman because he wants to battle outside in front of everybody. Well, then they can watch me kick your ass live and in person, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, you're in trouble today, Garrison. Yeah, you're in trouble today, Garrison. His team was simply no match for my battle-hardened Pokemon. Those EVs got my team into the best fighting shape possible. I feel like we can take on anybody. Well... Almost anybody. Garrison's team was swiftly defeated, and what do we get in return for beating the Pokemon League champion? Well, an eviction notice. Then suddenly in the middle of the night, I get called to the gym by this mystery man who has something important to tell me. Just as he's about to tell me, one of my gym trainers, Sandy, storms in, claiming he's back to take his spot as the gym leader. The mystery man, who now is known as Jason, hands Sandy a letter which states, If you do anything else during your reign, there will be consequences, starting with those closest to you. Am I getting threats? Go to the police and we will find out. Test us if you'd like. You won't like the results and neither would your sister. So the reason Jason left the city to rot as the mayor claimed was because someone clearly didn't want this place doing too well. Which lines up with us because as soon as we beat the league champion, we get fired. Something's not right here and we're getting to the bottom of this. We speak to the mayor and he tells us our gym trainers have been kidnapped. The police are searching everywhere, but the only place they can't check is the Badlands where the Rough Riders are at. And what do we find when we reach Edgar's lair? None other than the mayor himself. He kidnapped my trainers because he wanted to become a Pokemon adventurer back in his day, but it wasn't as financially stable and glamorous as it is today. Huh, kinda sounds like content creation now. So instead he became a mayor, however, being a mayor means nothing when the gym leaders now decide just about everything. Frustrated and fed up, he's lashing out on everyone. Aw, oh, yeah. And you have yours. Now let me... Let me take you to your gym trainer's chat. He leads with Dusclops, but Mommy is too strong and Dusclops commits Sudoku to get away. Next is Gudra, so I sent out Armando to handle it with some Moon Blast. The mayor then sends out right on D's, and Armando one-shots with the Hydro Cannon. His Dragonite was strong, but Justin was just barely able to survive. And last but not least were his Adraslash and Scizor, which both quickly fell to Stump's flamethrowers. The mayor was defeated. Edgar and his goons reunite and the cops are sent over to arrest the mayor. But they never explained if my gym trainers were found. And that's Pokemon This Gym of mine. I hope you all enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. It was a really creative concept and I'm looking forward to more Pokemon games just like this. Now, enjoy some bonus footage. Have you donated the item? Yeah, I donated the item bank. Quit asking me that question. You're making me feel weird. You make me feel weird for saying no to donating. You make me feel bad. Like when you go to the grocery store and they're like hella loud. Would you like to donate to the child's fund for $2? And you gotta sit there and be like, dog, I need the $2. But you, you, have, you can't say that. So you just say yes. Cool Trainer Tim wants to apply. Are we letting Cool, T cool Trainer Tim into the team? He's cool for a reason? I shit, you got a point. He's, he do seem kinda cool. Let's, let's get Cool Trainer Tim in here. Oh my god, I can buy a building. Shut up, I don't wanna buy anything else. Unique building and Cool Trainer Tim in one day? My god, we are on fire. Cool Trainer Tim is so cool. He lives right next to the town hall because the mayor and him have tea every day. He has the key to the mayor's house. The mayor named his son slightly less cool trainer Tim. This is all his house. It doesn't even have a door. Cool trainer Tim just phases through the wall. Cool trainer Tim doesn't need to steal my girlfriend. He's not stealing. I let never mind. <laughs> in California, it's illegal to ride a bike in a pool. Valid. <laughs>